where we are having a celebration of this great book, which has 75 writers from the northern Minnesota area. And um, tonight we're featuring people from the Grand Rapids area. This is Kathy McTavish. She was. Kathy is a cellist and a media artist, and so she's created this video. There's a lot of new stuff happening in poetry right now. Poetry videos are like music videos, and they're they're great fun. And if any of you are interested in in them, I you know I recommend that you go online, and you'll find a lot of work that's that's being done. Migration: A poem into voices. Embarking. Some of us are always seeking water. Some of us stay home. Boiling lake, 180 to 197 degrees. Our journey's internal, domestic. 195 feet, but not the bottom. Forced by experience. Wherever we go, Dominica, Lesser Antilles. To grapple with what's foreign. Grayish blue water bubbling up. A feeling that challenges in a cloud of vapor all we thought we knew this boiling cauldron assaults our senses and we've embarked spun off a trek to get there 13 K from the nearest road unbound from familiar past sulfur springs over mountains through gorges and fear across the valley of desolation to transformation across the backyard I didn't know it was dangerous. Early morning off the dock, steam rises from the lake, July air. Family becomes strangers. 46 degrees, calls my father. Separate souls we see for the first time. Snorkeling through lily pads and reeds. Chance encounters. Largemouth bass and their shadows that trigger pictures from the past. Deadheads stacked in layers of meanings. Touching down in messages from those nearly forgotten. Foot-sucking muck. Shapeshift sense we thought we'd made. Habits of seeing no longer work. Kicking ocean waves with fins, suddenly swimming. You felt this, I'm certain. Across flat water, over the ocean wall, 1,000 foot freefall, untethered, whirly birding, in desperate hope of new understanding, it's still water. Mother's Day Sonnet. Thursdays were bookmobile nights in those days. Grabbing our piles of books from the shelf, Mom and I strolled in the afternoon rays in the quiet town far from Vietnam. I knew nothing of that war, but I shared a goal Mom had as a girl. To read all the books on this library's shelves, we cared about all there was to know, heard the call of every title embossed on a spine, thought the next one might tell us the tale we most needed to hear them. I and my child's naivete, that I could inhale it like popcorn. And she, knowing our aim a futile one, but noble, worth the game. Thank you.